Hey meteorologist Pete Mangione here and this is a pretty nice Saturday. We did have some showers and thunderstorms in Connecticut. Some of those storms may have had quarter sized hail and some very heavy rain. Fortunately we avoided that for the most part in Rhode Island. We did have a few fizzling storms sneak into northern Rhode Island but most of us did not see a drop of rain so that was nice if you were looking to enjoy a dry weekend which I think most of you are. So, tonight temperatures will be in the 60s, maybe a few spots outside of Providence in the upper 50s, another comfortable night for sleeping. And then tomorrow we start to warm things up. You'll notice it's a few degrees warmer than Saturday, getting up to around 76 by 9 a.m. by noontime, 85, 88 by 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Breezes generally from the southwest around 5 to 10, and then a few gusts of around 15, even 20 along the coast, potentially on Sunday afternoon. So, what does that mean? Well, it means that the beach would be a nice place to be. I am expecting temperatures to make it to the low 80s and then probably falling back into the upper 70s with that south and southwesterly breeze kicking up just a little bit. And it will be muggier. So I did want to show you this. You can basically take Saturday's humidity, basically what it felt like outside, and just add a few degrees of dew point to that. So you'll notice it's stickier on Sunday than it was on Saturday and it'll be a little warmer too. And then uh, it gets, I'd say, borderline oppressive Monday and Tuesday. Nothing, you know, that like we saw last weekend with the heat and humidity but certainly pretty muggy for Monday and Tuesday and even on Monday and Tuesday we'll see a slight chance of showers and storms even though most of the time I do expect it to be dry. Speaking of that let's walk you through the precipitation in the next several days because it's a little bit tricky. I don't see any day being a washout. We may make it through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday without any rain at all but we are going to be watching late tomorrow for a disturbance to be moving in from the west. You can see 2 p.m. Sunday, I'm expecting dry conditions, but notice from 8 p.m. until the later hours around 11 p.m., we may have some showers and thunderstorms approaching, and these could be pretty strong out to our west for portions of Connecticut, Massachusetts, but they may actually kind of fizzle be by the time they make it to our area tomorrow night. So just stay tuned. We'll continue to update you on those potential Sunday storms. Right now, it doesn't look like it would be much to affect at least your daytime Sunday plans, but we will let you know if that changes and post more updates right here on WPRI.com. Thanks so much for watching, and we will be uh, posting more vi videos here with Weather Now throughout the weekend. See ya.